Wubba lubba dub dub! Hey guys, so today I have another video. Um, it's a Rick and Morty fan art that I've been super excited to share. Uh, I got to record the whole process this time where I actually show all of my sketches uh, that I made, not just the final painting. So here's one of the other sketches I'm doing. But unfortunately, there's some footages at the end that I lost, so it's gonna be heavy on the first part than it is on the ending. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, and here, it looks like that, you know, I'm just turning out these sketches in between. Like I'm just this pool of knowledge in my brain, but don't worry, I took, there was like a lot of breaks in between and looking at reference or getting, um, just looking at different inspiration. A lot of the places that I do to help with that is looking at Flickr or ArtStation uh, is a really good one. Also just kind of remembering who my favorite artists are and uh, looking at some of their work just again to give me more composition inspiration. So that's the point of this and since I just knew that I wanted to do multiple sketches for this one uh, because I wanted to choose yeah my favorite. So here's what all of my five sketches look like. They're super super chicken scratchy. This is the stage where I start refining it. Like I chose, I decided to go with this sketch. And so right now I'm just kind of making more conscious decisions or just less, le it's less loose for sure. Uh, but I always like to make sure that it's quite loose in the beginning when I'm first doing, you know, all sorts of sketches because, uh, because I want to make sure that I don't feel married to any of them. Like if I end up really defining them or just becoming too if I care too much in the beginning then it one it takes longer and two it ends up making me like too attached to the sketches and I just can't let them go I, like I can't choose the one that I like the best uh, but this one I decided to go with this one because I think this would be the most fun to to make and I knew I wanted to print it the, print this large like around a3 size so I wanted it to feel like a poster. So I really like that front view of the characters. Here I'm, this is my color thumbnail. So as you can see, I'm working really, really small here. Like compared to the size of my fingers, like this, this canvas, I'm really, really zooming out. And I did this all in one layer and I picked, I made a little color palette for myself in the beginning just by looking at reference of, from the show. and like what kind of lighting condition I liked. Um, but yeah, I start super small, and once I've decided that I liked how it looked, then I go big, like here, where I'm being a lot more careful too about the number of layers I'm using. Like, almost everything is on its own layer. Well, like, like so the Jerry's, these wormy guys, are on their, are on their own layer. Uh, Rick is on his own layer, uh, and so are his clothes within him. Like, he's a group of layers. Uh, so that's usually how I work is I do one layer color thumb that's just really quick and dirty just to make sure that I like the colors and the lighting and then I go in at this stage where I'm become a lot more careful and uh, just yeah making sure that everything is on its own layer and I'm organized uh, and if you see some flickering like like going back and forth from like like the color of the like this final color and then to this still basic part. It's because I have that color thumbnail in the background to help guide me and or it's not it's on an invisible layer that I just uh, you know click the eye thing to make it come in or out so that I can see it. Uh, but I also have a small thumbnail that you can see on the top right of the color thumbnail and in this way what's really awesome is that when I'm doing the final image, I'm not worrying about my color choices. So I pretty much just get to color pick from my small thumbnail because all the decisions that I made were already done beforehand and it's at, in this small, really quick, quick a little image. 
while this now I can just focus on making sure it's pretty and not so worry about the design and the color choices so yep that's the way I like to work it's just the it's just so much more efficient for me that way um, and yeah so here I'm just working on the background and some other elements unfortunately the footage that I lost is from mostly from um, the characters so you'll see more environment work in this one but that's okay because I do a lot of characters in the other videos uh, but I wanted to go back and talk about you know um, kind of how editing might make it seem a little bit misleading on how long art takes uh, so this took me a while and I worked on this on and off but I just wanted to mention this because I think in some of our videos that artists produce it looks it it makes art look really easy but I just want to let you all know if you guys are struggling or if you're uh, if you feel like you need to take a lot of breaks but yet these videos show like somebody who can just churn this stuff out and sit here for 11 hours that's totally not true like it's it's this is all edited I'm goofing off in between I'm checking out Instagram I'm annoying my boyfriend I'm uh, you I go go procrastinate and do some other stuff all the time or so or also I need to go back and continue looking at research and looking at reference and all that stuff uh, so yeah just want to let you all know this this is not real <laughs> like how fast I'm doing any of this stuff or or if it seems like I'm doing this all in one sitting or if it seems like this is like oh yeah I like know how to do this I know how to do that like I promise you like I'm doing stuff in between to make sure that um, I don't go crazy so yeah um, let's see what else can I talk about uh, I think you can see especially with those crystals that the lasso tool is one of my favorite favorite tools uh, it's saved me and uh, in so many occasions and it just it's just such a good tool when it comes to avoiding having to repaint a lot of things but it's also an awesome tool to make sure that you're painting just in the sections that you want uh, and another one that I like to use too is the transform tool that you, I think you saw me use a little bit on that mouth um, I would like to do a video to show all the like the tools that I use mostly um, but another thing that you can see is that uh, I like to keep I like to work on their silhouettes first so with Rick and Marty you saw that I just like filled in their silhouette and then I added color and their local colors and I put those on their own separate layers just so I can stay a little bit more organized uh, but yeah so I really like to work with a silhouette get that silhouette down make it look awesome really refine the shapes I mean I can definitely go back and fix stuff once I see it all together but just in the beginning, like I try, I like to work with the silhouette and just those basic shapes, and then I, in a group, put in the colors of the rest of their bodies. Um, yeah, so uh, I think that's pretty much it. I think the end of the video is coming up soon. Yeah, I know, like it's a pretty big part that's that's cut out, but I promise for next time that won't happen again. Anyway, so I just want to say thank you so much for watching, guys, and I hope you enjoyed the video and you like it because this show is amazing. Oh yeah, if you haven't seen the show, uh, it's your like you have no excuse now. You gotta see it. Okay, see you. Bye. <laughs>